Well, that money would be used to build, expand, and renovate various library locations across Wake County. It's a significant step to improve our library systems for a growing community here. We caught up with Felix Padilla leaving Green Road Branch Library. He moved to Central Carolina in the 90s. It's definitely important for the community, especially the children. And for example, like myself, with the computer broke down today, I'm here. But uh, it's definitely great. And the people, uh, customer service in here is fantastic. It's great. And we met this mother, Amanda Fedorowitz, who's here at least once a week about the needs of this location. It would just be really nice to allow them to have more space. Um, and more space, I think, for activities. I think they're trying to do a really good job of putting on activities for children, and I, they could use some more space for that. If approved by voters, the bond will fund various library capital projects starting in 2026, like adding new libraries to Roseville and Apex, or replacing, expanding, or renovating certain existing libraries. There was feedback at the latest Board of Commissioners meeting, passionate comments about the Athens Drive Library and Southeast Library. When the county is considering where the, the future Athens Drive Library is located, they take into consideration walkability and transit access because those are two critical components. You have an obligation to put a library in Southeast Raleigh, in the new part of Southeast Raleigh. And the trade-off for Richard B. Harrison is not on the table. But while many are on board with the improvements, Wake County anticipates a $2.50 tax increase per $100,000 of assessed evaluation per year would be needed. I definitely put in $2, $20. <laughs> it's, uh, it's great. I mean, yeah. everything in this area is growing, looking good. It's keeping it that way. I'm going to spend more than that on my boba tea on the way home, so that is totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wake County last held bond referendums for libraries in October 2007. It was for about $45 million and it passed with 70% voter approval. In Raleigh, Bianca Holman, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.